Nah, y'all. Look at this shirt right now and tell me, am I somebody that looks like just walking around with a shirt like this? Well, I look like somebody that doesn't like black people. But the truth of the matter is, I don't. You know, when you live the life that I live and you try to be simple and shit and don't bother people, people seem to bother you and it's mostly niggers. Uh, yesterday, right out in front of my car, one of these low-life bastard kids stole my fucking car in front of my house. And, you know, this is another reason why I don't like you black people. Y'all niggas are so fucking stupid. This ignorant motherfucker ordered DoorDash and had it delivered to his house. I thank the Lord that niggas are so fucking dumb. They can be treacherous, but dumb. And see, I can't wait until the lake of fire opens up and two-thirds of you bastards end up in it. See, I'm one of those people that if you work against me, even though I shouldn't wish it and it's not good for me, I wish bad shit on you, and it usually happens. I'll tell you, I got into a, I got fired. I had a state job, and there were three women, all of them overweight, all of them ugly, and all of them black, and all of them old, that basically conspired to get me out of there, and I fell right into their hands, so I kind of blame me too. But the best thing about it was there were three trollopy, fat black bitches, right? Old and ugly and fat. Three of them. One of them died outright. Her husband, and the next lady, her husband died, and the third lady, her son got involved in this armed robbery. And that was funny. It was it upset her. If you're a mother out here and you got a son that be fucking up, it can really upset you. I can attest to that. I'll talk about that in another video. But when kids fuck up, young boys, their moms really suffer, right? All right. So her son ended up in prison for that armed robbery. And what was funny is she's, ha ha. She, I heard she was getting letters from the black pastor so, you know, the black pastor could say, you know, this boy was on the right path and he just made a bad, yeah, that bullshit. But he ended up doing, well, he ended up getting sentenced to 15 years. I don't know how much time he did, but he did more time than I've done. So, you know, I, I love that type stuff. When people work against me, something happens to them that, you know, sometimes I hear about it, but sometimes I don't. I just know for, you know, messing with one of his children, God's going to make you suffer some kind of way. Okay. Now, these fools, they haven't been caught yet because the officer got to wait until Monday to, before he doesn't have to subpoena the DoorDash place. But yeah, man, they went places and used my card, so I'm going to be really, really upset if somehow, some kind of way, they say they can't find a culprit. But I did get my car back, but I don't want that car anymore. I just don't want it anymore. I'm going to install doorbell cameras in front of my house, and I'm going to look to get a new car uh, after I got other responsibilities, uh, you know, but I'll get one soon enough. Cause I don't, I don't see one thing about me. When people think they hurt me, sometimes I like to go out of my way to show them you ain't stopping shit here, motherfucker. Nothing. You little bastards are going to be the same losers that you are in 20 years. I just hope in 20 years, you don't come fucking and knocking on my door, trying to take shit out my house because I got something here for you. Black motherfuckers. I don't like you niggers. I don't, I really truly do not. I don't. I never have. I don't see no value that you bring to me, no value that you bring to the community. I'm just waiting for the majority of y'all to just vanish off the face of the goddamn earth. And I'm a coon, too.